Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through some of the problems on the 12-1 worksheet. Okay, um, write each quadratic function in standard form and identify the vertex. So standard form is just like when we're plugging stuff into a quadratic uh, formula, right? Like so something like say 3x squared minus 5x plus 11 equals 0. That's standard form. So all we want to do on this here is we just want to multiply these all out. That'll give you standard form, and then we can use standard form to find the vertex. So let's multiply this one out. This one's pretty straightforward. x times x is x squared, and x times 3 is 3x equals 0. So there, that's standard form. That's as far as we can go. Okay. Now, to identify the vertex, we want to remember that we have our... Um, axis of symmetry formula x equals negative b over 2a that will give us the x value of um, this equation okay for the the x value of the vertex okay so x equals negative b b is 3 so negative 3 over 2 times a a is 1 so we get x equals negative 3 over 2 you can leave it like that, or I like decimals instead, so I'm going to write that as negative 1.5. Okay, so our vertex is going to be at negative 1.5 for the x, and then we're going to plug that negative 1.5 into either our new equation or the original and find out what the y is. Okay, so I'm going to plug it into our standard form one I think that's a little bit easier you, you do whatever works for you um, so we've got we don't even have to put the one in there so we're gonna put negative 1.5 squared plus 3 times negative 1.5 and see what we get okay negative 1.5 times negative 1.5 is 2.25 and then 3 times negative 1.5 is negative 4.5 so we subtract those two from each other. Subtract those from each other and we get negative 2.25. So our vertex is negative 1.5, negative 2.25. And notice that there's no graphs on here. So all we have to do is put it in standard form, which is this part right here, and find the vertex. Okay? I put the vertex way down here because I thought we'd need more space, but we didn't. So anyway, three. Um, we need to multiply these together. So um, again, I like to stack one on top of the other. So I'm going to move this V minus 1 over. And then I'm just going to multiply across. Right? Negative 1 times negative 5 is 5. Negative 1 times V is negative V. And that's a positive 5. V times, oh, oops, sorry, 0 to hold the spot. V times negative 5 is negative 5V. And V times V is V squared. Add these up vertically here and we get v squared now that's negative 1v and negative 5v is negative 6v and then plus 5 okay equals 0 that is our standard form so that's the first part okay now we can use our axis of symmetry formula x equals negative b which is negative 6 all over 2 times a which is 1 so we get x equals negative negative 6 is 6 over 2. So x is 3. So vertex is 3. And now we're going to plug 3 into either one of these formulas and solve. And that will tell us what our y is. So I'm going to plug it into the quadratic one that we have, our standard form. So we got 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5. 3 squared is 9. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18 plus 5. So 9 minus 18 plus 5 should give us negative 4. So our vertex is at 3, negative 4. Okay. Number 5. Let's stack these up. N minus 3. I'm going to move it under here and multiply. Negative 3 times positive 6 is negative 18. Negative 3 times n is negative 3n. Put a 0 in to hold the spot there. n times 6 is 6n. n times n is n squared. 
We add these together, we get n squared, negative 3n and 6n is positive 3n and negative 18. There's our standard form. And now we're going to plug, uh, we're going to use our um, axis of symmetry formula to find the x value of the vertex. So we get x equals negative b, which in this case is 3, over 2 times a, which in this case is 1. So we get x equals negative 3 halves, which is negative 1.5 if we write it as a decimal. Okay, so vertex is negative 1.5 is the x. And now we've got to plug that into either one of these and figure out what the y is. So um, negative 1.5 squared plus 3 times negative 1.5 minus 18. Negative 1.5 squared is 2.25. I've just done that enough where I remember what that is, but 3 times negative 1.5 is negative 4.5 and then minus 18. So let's bust out our calculator to help us out with that one. So 2.25 minus 4.5 minus 18 gives us negative 20.25 and that is our vertex for five okay and then number seven I'm gonna stack these up I usually like this one I like the one that has like the big the number in front of the K I usually like to leave on top it doesn't matter either way it'll work but I'm gonna move this K plus three underneath here and multiply this out three times four is twelve three times five K is 15k that's a positive 12 and a positive 15 zero to hold a spot k times 4 is 4k k times 5k multiply the 5 times the 1 to get a 5 and then k times k is k squared okay add these vertically and we get 5k squared 15k and 4k is 19 and then 12 plus 0 is 12 so there's our standard form now we'll find the uh, axis, use the axis symmetry to find the x value of the vertex so that we can plug it back in to find the y. So x equals negative b, which is 19, all over 2 times a, which is 5. So we get x equals negative 19 over 10. So that is negative 1.9. That's a lot of fun, huh? So vertex. We've got negative 1.9 is the x, and then we're going to plug that negative 1.9 into either one of these and find the y. So I'm going to do 5 times negative 1.9 squared plus 19 times 1 point, oops, negative 1.9, because I forgot to write the k right here. Um, and then plus 12. And let's use our calculator for this one, right? 5 times negative 1.9 squared plus 19 times negative 1.9. Or you can do parentheses. Oops, I did 119. That's too much. Let's see if I can get this over there and get rid of one of those, so plus 19 times 1.9, yeah. And then we're going to add 12 and see what we get. Negative 6.05 is our vertex for that one. Okay? Okay, that's all we have for 12.1. If you have any questions at all on any of this, please feel free to ask. Thanks.